All right, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So we're gonna be working on the engine bay today. For so most of you guys that have been following me on the channel, you guys know that I do have the spoon valve cover. I've been meaning to install that, but I've just been holding off just because I got a couple other components that are going into the engine bay that will require, I guess, removing the valve cover or the valve cover will come off. It'll be much easier to install that part. If you guys know the K20C1, you guys probably know what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to. For today, we're gonna install install some spoon goodies. Ever since I installed the RSR coilovers, the strut tower bolts are kind of on the janky side. So we got some new ones from Chasing Jays and I'm really excited to show you guys. Really, really nice. Also, we got this box from Mugen from Envision Auto Import. I was, I'll explain a little more, but there's one thing that we got to get to. All right, in the previous vlog, in one of the comments, uh, one of the viewers, Tezasaurus Rex kind of called me out saying that when I weighed my seats, the way I measured it or weighed it was no good because he's saying, he called me out saying that I braced it with my knee. To be fair, okay, I, I braced it, but is it a big difference in weight? He or she recommended that I use a weight scale saying that I jump on the weight scale and weigh it. So we're going to try it out. Try, we're going to try it out today, you guys. There's my weight scale, which is for traveling on suitcases it should be accurate because it's tsa approved and the other one is a home weight scale let's uh let's go ahead and try it. i'm not going to pull up the factory or the uh aftermarket ones we're just going to weigh out the oem ones and then go from there so in the installation video i weighed the driver's side seat that weighed in at 44.5 pounds or 20.7 kilos we're going to go ahead and weigh myself as they recommend it and then carry the seat at the same time after and then we'll see what it outcomes to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my shoes because my wife's gonna kill me if I step on the scale. We're gonna zero it out. See. So this is in pounds. So I am 141.6. You guys can see that. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and step it off and then we'll wait till it clears. Okay, and then now I'm gonna pick up the seat and I'm gonna carry it. Here we go. One eighty four point six. That's with the seat. One eighty four point six. And this is the driver's side. All right. So just doing some quick math using the weight scale, the home weight scale, it came in at 43 pounds the, on the previous video. It was 44 and a half pounds. So we're only out by one and a half pounds. So it's pretty accurate, but he, he could be right. Uh, the, the knee could put it out by one and a half pounds. So if you're very particular about that, we're out by very little, very little margin. But thanks for the comment. Uh, thanks for the input. And hopefully I clarified everything. Let's move on with the vlog. So ever since I installed the RSR coilovers, my first impression was that these are so ugly and just didn't do justice. So we're going to change it out today to some Chasing J's M10 by 1.25. So I believe these are 14 mil. Yeah, it's 14 mil. So we can go ahead and move this one. Oh, I think I'm just going to do one at a time. Beautiful how they do it. Absolutely. Hopefully you guys can see that. It has titanium, chasing J's, gorgeous. Yeah, huge, huge weight difference, but whatever. Okay. That's so sick, you guys. Take a look at that. Oh, no more janky old nuts. This cleans it right up. So nice. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and change up the radiator cap with the spoon cap. All right, so don't make that mistake like I did before. What you want to do is you want to put the radiator cap on and then put the sticker on so that everything is straight. Put that aside. You want perfection. There we go. All 
All right, next up, oil cap. I'm gonna make sure you tighten it nice and snug. I made the mistake before. I didn't tighten it enough, not snug enough. And then when I went, ended up putting the uh, sticker on, this is a uh, top secret uh, oil cap that I did for the R35. It was kind of crooked. And once it's on crooked, that's pretty much, done. it's a done deal. It's because uh, uh, some of this stuff is made out of uh, aluminum. And if you try to uh, remove it, you'll end up breaking or bending the aluminum and that's pretty much a done deal. There you go. All right, so last one for the engine bay. And a lot of you guys have seen this one before on many Hondas. It's like a must. The spoon sock on the reservoir. You know, put it front facing. So that Apparently this is a purpose for it. So if it ever like starts on fire or uh, is this fire retardant or re retardant or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, so it doesn't start on fire and keeps it nice and cool, supposedly. Okay, we're going to move on to the outside now. All right, so last but not least, let's open up this box. Uh, this, there it is, right here is the label. That's the, obviously it's Mugen, part number, Civic Ventilated Visors. So it's not a big secret what this is inside here. I'm not a big fan, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's try it out. So we're gonna do a quick mock up here and just make sure, keep in mind where the little tabs are gonna go. So obviously is where the little circles are. So we're gonna put those tabs in. So apparently it's supposed to move around based on what I've seen. They're gonna go in like this. I'm not a big fan, but uh, I guess we're gonna go, we're gonna go with it. I don't like uh, move, removing my seals and I'm just gonna peel it back just enough to just get this tab in here. See, that's, that's the only thing I don't like. I just, when you put it in, here, I'll show you. That's the reason why I didn't, uh, I didn't want to go with it. You see how the rubber seals, that kind of like, after, after time, it's going to be permanent. I think it's going to end up being permanent. I think the two size sticky tape is just more than enough efficient to, for this sucker. And it's not going to fly off, I don't think. Yeah, so I might just go and roll with it without this tab here. I just don't like it. I'm not a big fan. I like my seals tight. Um, yeah. All right, so I decided I'm just gonna roll without the clips. Uh, I just, uh, I just don't like the clips. So before I uh, install or commit to the adhesive, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the pillar. So it's up to optimal temperature to install. So make sure the adhesive sticks. I don't think that's gonna fall off. and install the rear ones.
They're very subtle. It's not uh it doesn't stand out into you know, like in your face or anything. Very, very subtle. And uh looks good. Hopefully it works. Well apparently it's supposed to work. Gerald says it works, so we're gonna see. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for the next couple of weeks. It's going to be very exciting. We're going to head down to SEMA. I'm excited to find what we can find for this car and see what we can add to it. I know there's a few parts that are trickling in slowly. It's going to be fantastic, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we'll see you guys next week. See ya.